We have new details on how the Fort Hood massacre ended one week ago today. Police Sergeant Kimberly Munley, who was praised as a hero for her response to the shooting, spoke about it for the first time yesterday. She responded to reports of the shooting along with Senior Sergeant Mark Todd, a retired soldier and veteran police officer. And now an eyewitness tells the New York Times it was Sergeant Todd who took down Major Nadal Malik Hassan, firing his weapon for the first time in his 25-year career. Sergeant Todd joins us now from Fort Hood. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can you bring us back to, it's now a week ago today, uh, you got this call. Now, were you and Sergeant Munley in separate vehicles? Yes, sir. We okay. Were. And so you are approaching the same building at about the same time. What was the first thing you saw? The first thing I seen was the, the bystanders pointing in the general direction of, of the individual. And then as we exit the vehicles, we, um, we had to uh, negotiate a slight incline. And when we got to the top of the hill, that's when we seen the individual. We um, shouted out commands and then we, we took fire. And we took fire. You took fire. Now, as I understand it, yeah, Sergeant so you, Munley was on one side of the building and you were on the other side of the building? And, and, um, initially, she took um, cover in front of the vehicle and I took, or in front of the building, mm -hmm. and I took cover um, to the left of her uh, in the parking lot. And then um, the individual changed locations, and then when I got to uh, where they were, uh, uh, we engaged the, uh, the individual, neutralized him, and then secured him and started life-saving measures. Right. Um, so as this thing unfolds, it's, uh, there's a lot of adrenaline involved. The things are unfolding in a very quick fashion. Uh, the, the alleged shooter, uh, we, uh, the, the shooter shoots Sergeant, Sergeant Munley. Do you, were you aware of whether or not she got any shots off and was she able to hit him? At the, at the time, I was not aware uh -huh. as, as things were unfolding. Right. But then when she goes down, what happens? He starts to reload? Um, I can't comment on that. All I, all I know is um, from what I've seen, um, I've seen him. I drew his attention towards me, and then he opened fire, and then I uh, neutralized him and secured him. And then we, all the medics came out once he was secured, and we start the life-saving measures. Right. But he was still uh, with weapon in hand when you engaged him then and, and shot, shot at him. Is that correct? Yes, we, we were engaged in a, in a, in a gunfight and then um, I neutralized him, or we neutralized him and right. then secured him and okay. gained the life-saving measures. 25 years, military police, then in the civilian police, you've trained and trained and trained and trained. Have you ever had to draw your weapon until last Thursday? No, that was the first time I had to actually uh, draw my weapon in, 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 in an instant like that. Yeah. And how much does the training have to do with how you respond? Training is everything. Uh, the military is based on training. Uh, we, got, we constantly train, 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 so it's muscle memory. So in a situation like this, you don't have to think about it. You just react because you've been through it you know, a thousand times. You just, just react. Yeah. And as many rounds as uh, uh, the alleged perpetrator got off, how lucky are, do you feel to be standing here talking to me right now? Oh, by the grace of God, I'm, I'm standing here with, with no injuries, not, not a scratch, and it's a miracle. There you go. Senior Sergeant Mark Todd, we thank you very, very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Do appreciate it, sir.